Well, does that pulsating sound annoy you like it does us? So that happens when we turn our water on, uh, but not all the way, and then the water pump starts going cut, 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 chug, 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 and it's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna install this accumulator today, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super, super easy. These do come supposedly pre-pressurized. I did check this with a tire gauge. It only had about 10 PSI, so I've actually gone and put about uh, 30 PSI in here already. These are non-directional, so you can hook up the water line to either side here, but you do need to put it in the outlet side of the water pump. Uh, the reasons you're going to want to install this type of accumulator is uh, it can extend your pump life, it reduces the noise, it reduces the pulsating thing I was telling you about, uh, and it will reduce the amperage uh, when it starts up. So let's get to it. Well, first things first, you want to turn off your water pump and depressurize the system. So just uh, turn your water on. There you go. That's it. Right, well, I'm under the dinette bench. Here's the pump here. Not a lot of room to install the accumulator. Again, you want the, the nipple up for servicing later on. Uh, I would definitely use a bike pump and nothing stronger. So I think I'm going to try and put it over there in that back corner. This side here is where the filter is. So that's going to be the inlet. And this is going to be the outlet side of the pump. So these should only be finger tight, and there will be a little bit of water that comes out. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I was afraid it wasn't going to be. So I'm just going to take this fitting off, and there goes a little water coming out. So I just got a couple rags to clean that up. So basically, this is just going to go in one end, and I've got another line that will attach there to there. It is beyond easy. The hard part is just figuring out exactly where you want to mount this. Okay, well after trying this and that, uh, I'm going to actually place this on the floor. Um, they recommend you have the nipple going up but you actually you can mount it anywhere you want so with that this will still give me room to get in to pressurize it if I need to with a bike pump now this is going to be too long on the outlet side so I'm going to shorten this up and put the fitting back in there so let's do that Of course, everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different as far as your mounting. Right, I'm going to take the 90 degree angle out of here. My hose clamp. Put this back in there. Show that back in. That hose clamp real good so it doesn't leak. All right, so I'm gonna attach this. Doesn't matter which side. Okay, hand tight only. It's about perfect to where I want it. All right, if you buy a kit, that will actually give you a couple hoses with this. So then I've got the outlet from the pump right here. I'm actually going to run it that way. And just hand tight. Okay, so just from the outlet of the pump, 
to the other side of the accumulator there. Tight. Okay, so then there's two mounting holes here. Now I know it's fine drilling into the, screwing into the hole, into the floor, because I've done it. All right, so they don't give any screws to mount it with, but fortunately, my father-in-law has tons of extra hardware. So I'll just grab something. All right, I've got all the fittings tight. I tightened the hose clamp here and I've got it down there. So now we just need to see if it's leaking. So let's turn everything back on. Sweet. All right, no leaks. None there, none there. And guess what? I have the water barely on and it's not doing the toot 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 anymore. I call that a success. Uh, this accumulator is only about $41 off of Amazon and I will put a link below. So thanks for following along in this installation. It's pretty easy. Really the only tools I needed was a screwdriver and that's probably about all you'll need too. All right, see you in the next how-to video. And please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.